Yep, hello folks and welcome to day five out in the Strawberry Mountain Wilderness. Got me a good fire going here. Yep. Okay. What we're going to do today is uh, use some of this polar pure and uh, purify some water. Now the best place to keep this in this cold weather is next to your body. Alright. And the cord, I don't know if you can really see the colors on there, but according to this, uh, this will be able to get two liters of water. Okay, so without further ado, here's some nice, fresh Slide Creek water. Ooh, that's a bit much. Okay. grip on it. All right. Okay. I just do this approximately. Um, okay. That. that should be enough for that one. Oops, wrong. <laughs> Shut that. Get good and tight. Give it a good roll around. Like so. Let it sit for about 15 20 minutes. Okay, let's get the second bottle. Oops, a bit much again. Okay. Now let's get the rest of this iodine stuff in here. Okay. Okay, awesome. Now we got water treated with potassium iodine. Let's do the same. You notice how that color tint there? It's a little brown. Oh well. Folks, this stuff is good for you. Good for the thyroid, especially with that Japanese thingy that just went down over there, that earthquake and the nuclear reactors. Well, me, I've been using this Polar Pure since day one out here. And what is the ingredient in this? Active ingredient, crystalline iodine. All right. Yep. 99.5. So there's little crystals. I don't know if you can see them down there at the bottom. But, you know. Maybe. Little like little BB looking things, yeah. yeah. So, anyways, doing pretty good. I used some camp suds and some hot water. Washed my hands, washed my face, washed my head. Oh, my ears, my neck, and some private parts and everything. Wow. Do I look like a million bucks or what? I'm, I don't know what a million dollars looks like, so <laughs> it's irrelevant, huh? Out here, the past four days, I've spent no money. Now, if I can make it, oh man, there's times, I mean, I go to bed when the sun goes down, and consequently, I wake up when it's dark. That sucks. So I gotta take a piss, and all warm inside my sleeping bag on my raised bed of pine burrows and oh just I just um, end up um, going back to sleep and you know, wake up when it's when the sun comes up it's in my typical day been consuming about um, Anywhere from a thousand to 1500 calories a day. And no, I'm not having any weight gain out here with all this wood chopping 
walks in the snow, calorie expenditures left and right, it's really hard to gain weight. So, otherwise, I've been uh, for um, supplements. I've been doing um, uh, what is it? golden seal, elderberry, um, echinacea, zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D3, and vitamin D12. Does the body good? See, I'm not out here. I'm not. Oh. Did you notice something during this whole video? I've not coughed once. That's because my cold has all but gone away. It's a little bit evident here and there. However, I don't got that Eugene Mission um, cough. That Lord help me if I had to go back there, I'd get it all over again. But that's life, I guess. And I'm going to stay out here for about the length of my food supply. And that should be about it for this trip, and which could drag on for another four or five days. Awesome. And, <coughs> oh, oh, there we go. I still got a little bit of a sinus cold, but not much. So, anyways. Yeah. Alright, and if you like this video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and tune in to thenorthernsurvivalist.com, to my blog, and please comment. I get a lot of spam blog uh, comments on there, and I, like, so I really love it when I get somebody that leaves a real comment, so maybe you could be one of them. Alright, thanks and over and out.